Okay, welcome to the Pentland Junction layout. Pentland Junction is actually this junction. There's actually this bit here. This is the junction. Because that goes off down there. And that goes off to the Pentland Firth. Although the station is going to be called Case Ness. Just to confuse people. Okay, so what has changed? Well, I now have three Class 158s. I've got the Edinburgh service, the Dundee service, and an old tooling. I've got, still got my push full set. I've got a 92 now to haul my Caledonian sleeper. And what's this? Get the Geiger counter out. We have a nuclear train. Hold by two DRS 68s at the moment. Uh, DMU there, Scottish, uh, Japanese DMU. But things are progressing slowly. And I mean slower than continental drift right now. The station area. Because I have started on the bridge. Yep, this is the bridge. Still got quite a bit to add to this, uh, namely the ramps on the side. have got to be built up to the top level. I've put these top bits on because the... I don't know if you can see it, but it's slightly yellowed. So I think the plastic is getting a little bit brittle. There's a little layer to go on, uh, on there, there, there. And that, which will then be fit, treated with Tamiya filler, which I need to get uh, get some. Yeah, uh, somebody with a loud pipe outside. And I've also got some girders underneath. Those girders are there just to prevent the bridge moving back and forth. There will be buttresses coming up here and up here and on this side and on this side to prevent lateral movement that way because this is not going to be fixed down in case I need to get to this point here you know because you know I don't want to then have to start ripping bits of the layout off until I just want to lift it off job done so like that it's actually wide enough to get a small pavement and two lanes of traffic as represented here by uh, Heater Bridge or is it Bridges or Sheet? I don't know and the bus yes Heater Bridge <laughs> Yeah, one of our uh, friendly Stobart drivers. She likes hitting bridges. <laughs> and I can just about get a uh, a pavement in there as well. So it'll be a pavement walking on down this side. Why? Now the idea of this is basically it comes in. This road will imaginary goes up to here. So if you're wanting to get down to this industrial estate here. You'll come down here, turn down here, and turn down here, and go down there. However, you won't be able to go much further than here, because this road then becomes a one-way street. Oh dear. Because... It's just wide enough for two vehicles. fire engine there for a moment. There will be an extension coming to this as well to go right up to the top of the base uh, back scene and another layer on top so it, it comes down steps out goes down and steps back in again. I've also as well added black card to the windows of the the mill as you can see, you can just about make see through there, but you can't see through that. 
these here are just temporary flats because there's another there's a store going to be going there bt store which is going to get a relabel uh thank you uh david howarth for that photograph there it is works does the job just nice little easy eye out of the scene uh so what else is new not a lot uh painted some of the makeshift catenary i'm waiting on wessel wagon works they're going to be releasing some engage catenary yay because these things I'm forever replacing. Especially on this run. They're always snapping on this run. Uh, got some of the understructs done. Which isn't even. It is actually undulates. Which ground does. Each one of these bays is actually filled to a different level to the one next to it. So it's not even as it goes through. Which I don't mind. Because if it was too even, too uniform, it just wouldn't look right. I've got to feel, work out what I'm going to do here. It was caught a bloody twang as well. I'm thinking about possibly putting some spandite or something in there and then just building it all up. And maybe having a bit of a rise. Because the road has got to come round here. Then it's going to make it's going to have to make a ninety degree turn to go out of here over the bridge, and then there's going to be something on this back scene as well, possibly a mill, because this is where we fi a factory is going to be. Then down here, the road will come down here. Though well, I could have actually put a petrol station there. Actually, the road will come down here with various lower leaf buildings glued to it, and, and what have you. Just to give a nice view out to, you know, this is like a village about a couple of miles away from the sea. I mean, you can just about make out some houses there. And you've got the sea there. And also as well, as I put buildings on here, it allowed hide all this bloody creaky, creakiness. I mean, I could actually put a bloody uh, lower leaf mill there. As you drive, you come in, drive left or right and drive straight into the mill. So we move down through here. This is just black card sprayed with uh, Warhammer acrylics. Now I've got something to put here. I've got depot light. I've got lights coming here, and I've got lights going here as well. That's got my signal there. That's me button for my signals. These here control uh, power to these feeds here because these are fully isolated. As you can see, there's nothing on the track at the moment, but I've just opened the points and give it power. And there we go, absolutely nothing. Let me EF210. And I don't need power for that, I can just grab it. Independently. And it wants a bubble. So I'll put that there. Put that there like that. There we go. Turn off. Turn off there. Uh, got the Imperial coach coming for this as well. And I've also well ordered the Royal Train, which means I've got to buy a pair of Class 67s. Oh, God. Because <laughs> uh, a pair of DB Class 67s uh, haul the Royal Train. Ironically, you know, a royal family with German heritage of being pulled by German uh, state railways. Got my lights working back in this as well. And. Uh, lest we forget is also back. She's been very much unreliable, just like the other one. So the royal train's probably going to go here. 
take over where this intercity is, which means there'll probably got to be a uh, little diesel locomotive sat there. Might even have it hauled by this actually, the intercity. For now. Well, when I next go to my hobby store, I'm going to take these with me. Because he's got a couple of Graham, pre owned Graham Farish uh, triple containers, triple 20 foot. I want to see how the containers line, uh, size up compared to these here. Well, I mean, these are all Japanese outline containers, so what I want to do is get some Dapple or Farish uh, 40 foot and 20 foot uh, containers. I put some European containers on there rather than these Japanese ones. Which will bring it more into where the layout is set. You know, it's set in the UK. I mean, I've got that because it's cheaper than buying the bloody Azuma. <laughs> it's a lot cheaper. Well, I've got the IET on the uh, New Hall Road behind me. But, but yeah, this is my bridge. This is what I'm making a start on. Um, there won't be any uh, lights on it as such. I suppose I could put uh, a sort of pole here with some lights shining down onto it, but uh, nah. Uh, so there's got to be something here. Uh, question is, what do I put there? I'm thinking maybe a market store of some description, because this is got to be my. Uh, this here is going to be the bus station. So there's another piece of. Actually, I could probably actually glue that down there, actually. I don't think I can get away with gluing that down. Yeah, so there's got to be some things put there, and this canopy will be fastened to that. It's just got to be placed down for now. But this will be my uh, bus and coach station. Which helps explain why it's as big as it is. My original plan was to have the buses like that. But then you reverse it out into traffic. So no, it would just come down, come down through here and pull in. that goes there so yeah put a market store or something here with some bushes up against here just to hide this crack and as you can see there's a big big gap there where this has uh, it's not fitted properly well yeah then there's bal uh, point motors to go in here then balancing to go into there and got lights to add down there Couple of maybe a couple of flashing uh, red LEDs for the end of the end of the light. And I've got this. Uh, what's it building here? It didn't quite go together very well. It was an absolute bitch to put together because there's no instructions, there's no locking lug. You need about four hands to put the damn thing together. So it goes there. It may not stay here because it's a little bit too big. Um, so I've got the BT store going there. But I want to save this. So what I'm going to do is mount it to some card. The moment it's a little bit thin and flimsy. And it will also then go, go there. Yes, I know Macklin's have gone bust. <laughs> They've been brought out. That store survived. They've decided the managers of that store um, got together and goes, We'll buy this store. <laughs> or we'll buy the name of a pound. So that's what they've done. The amount of times I've been into mapping, it's got odds and sod things. I like, mean, radio controlled cars and CB radio bits and you know, all sorts of crap that they sold. But, yep, yeah, that's it for now. Oh, yeah, I've got these. Uh, Lovely tank wagons. 
Now, I flicked out. I was doing some, um, what's it? Earlier on. And I flicked, I nipped a bit of plastic and it flew off. What were the odds of you actually landing on a coupling? <laughs> landing on the engage couplings. Mm, there we go. These were, these black chassis ones were pre-owned with the old cookie cutter wheels. Oh, so I put uh, old coach, uh, new coach wheels in. I've got to get some more coach wheels. I've got another, another one that uh, I need to deal with. Because it won't, because although the wheels are engaged, they're offset. So they keep smacking this bloody frog. And derail. So that's that. There. Uh, I'll say the nuclear train. I was actually noticed. I've always noticed that one of them has got no uh, ADR plate on the thing. Oh well. <laughs> And it's not missing because in in the uh, in the photos of Revolution trains, you can see it's not actually on there. The one does be on nine zero one four. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It's a minor detail. That's why it's at the back. It's carrying an empty flask. We uh, Voyager again, finally running. Got me class 170 uh, there. Blender Carlisle with its uh, stable mate. Uh, she is not the most reliable class 08. Mm, an old one. Not very smooth at all. And this one sits that way. I I'll put it in this way. So the driver would be able to see what he's doing when he's backing stuff in. Makes life easy for the driver. But uh, yeah, dummy class 86. I actually found out what these were for, these network rail um, 86s. They were a, a, a load bank tester for overhead line equipment. Couldn't pull anything, so I think you move on to their own power, but they were there to put a uh, massive load onto the OHLE. So my plan is to get this body uh, at some point re-sprayed into Freightliner colours. Of course there's a Freightliner um, 86 coming out. Might have that one done in uh, triple grey rail freight distribution. Don't know yet. Because it, uh, they always used to run them in pairs, which means if that is the case, I'll start running them in pairs. I can actually put them on the road train, one at the front, one behind. Meaning I don't need to buy another uh, pair of 67s. Because I've got Mons Meg sitting here doing nothing. Now the road train does sometimes get hauled by uh, steam locomotives. How have you? You're the king of England. You, you gotta travel in style. You know, sticking a bloody steam train on the front of your uh, the royal train. Now that is travelling in style. More balanced. And this area here um, is where I've got put steps going from here down to there. So I might as well have them coming down to a halfway landing, turning around and coming down to there and zigzagging down. Because this is where the monument is going to be. Unless I, have, unless I fill that in with spandite foam and have it coming out of the ground. But then again, it doesn't look right. It's a, more, it's a uh, war memorial. So he's got to eventually go get taken off and sprayed into uh, gunmetal, the entire lot. Anyway, that's all for now. Time for me to uh, bugger off and 
going to bed. Because I've got to get up early in the morning for work. So, bye-bye.